Hey there, welcome back to Old World Home. My name is Hillary, and it has been a minute since I posted a video. I shared an entire month of vlogs, daily vlogs, in the month of April, and I usually take a week off, and I took a little longer this time. It has just been a full, busy schedule lately. School is kind of winding down, so there's been a lot of, you know, end of the year events going on. But I have been able to pop out to a couple thrift stores, I went to a yard sale, and I also did a Facebook Marketplace pickup within the past two weeks, so I wanted to kind of share with you a collective haul. I was also able to get a lot of things out of our home because I went to that free swap that I know you guys heard me talking about back during VEDA. And I did bring a few things in from the swap. It wasn't, nothing was like too terribly amazing that I felt like you know, it warranted a video. I got a lot of kids clothes, which was great, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you this collective haul of some things that I do think you'll find a little more interesting. And I also did film a little bit while I was thrifting, so I thought I would also share that, you know, kind of what caught my eye when I was at the thrift store and what I decided not to bring home, and then I'll show you what I did bring home. Two things I always look for at the thrift store are baskets and lampshades. And on this trip, I lucked out finding both of those. Then there was this set of vintage English dishes that were so, so beautiful. And honestly, if I keep thinking about it, I will be really tempted to go back and see if they're still there. I'll share more about this one later on in the video. This next store is my absolute favorite place. It's so clean and it's always well stocked. And something that I've been looking for for my girls are some cute woven bags. But this one was overpriced and the other one just kind of missed the mark style-wise. Not quite what I am looking for. Again, lamps and lampshades I'm always on the hunt for because they add functional beauty, if that makes sense. I don't need any chairs, but these definitely caught my eye. And this one, I'm not in this stage of life, but I definitely appreciated how cute these were. Again, more beautiful serving pieces. This teapot was really pretty, even just on a shelf. I think it was $5.99. And then these dishes I loved. I thought the colors on them were so beautiful, but it wasn't a full set. And then this piece, I really loved the colors of it. It was functional, but again, kind of overpriced. I'm working on teaching my son his letters. So this pillow caught my eye, as well as this adorable fitted sheet. I was really sad that it wasn't the right size for his bed, so I had to pass. So these first two items are by far, one of my favorite things that I found, my Marketplace find was also amazing, so be sure to stay to the end to see that one. But I was able to find at two different thrift stores two beautiful pleated fabric lampshades. I love that this style is becoming more popular and that even though I did find these at a thrift store, I feel like this trend of like the pleated patterned shades is something that's coming into home decor more. I'm seeing these beautiful block prints in fabrics and you know like pillows and blankets and things. So I feel like I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that it will come into the lampshade realm in like mainstream retail because it they are so expensive when you buy them online or find them at online retailers. Anyways, that's a tangent. I was able to find these secondhand vintage. So I love this one. It's actually vintage Laura Ashley. Beautiful brass and I love this pattern. I bet there's someone out there watching this video saying, I had that in my room or I had that in my daughter's room. And actually when I found this one at the thrift store, you can see the sticker, it was $3. I actually found they had the matching duvet or comforter set in the linens, like the bed linen section. I think it is so incredibly darling, especially with their wallpaper behind it. And this has a very subtle little star pattern on it, which is sort of a subtle nod to the boys room because they have their star wallpaper. So I absolutely love this one, great size. And then in a different store, I found this one. It's a little bit smaller. But the pattern on this is so, so cute. It's little blue strawberries and just green leaves and it's so cute. This one's a little bit of a different harp style and I don't have a lamp 
specifically for this one in mind, but I just could not pass it by. I could not leave it there. It was $4.99. So again, to buy this size at an online retailer is easily 50 bucks. I'm happy to pay $4.99 and I'm just growing my collection of pleated floral or fabric lampshades like the ones I have here in the living room on the built-ins. Love those. Those were a marketplace find as well. So I'm not sure where exactly this one will go, but I'm going to love it and use it somewhere. Another thrift find is this beautiful basket and this was $5.99. So not a phenomenal price, but I was happy to pay it. It's a really great size. I love just the shape of it, the handle, it's really sturdy. And I'm debating whether or not to keep this for our home or sort of donate it to my parents because we, they have a huge garden and it's such a blessing and we are so happy to glean from it. And they get the Martha Stewart magazine and she had on this cover, you know, a beautiful basket to go out to the garden to gather, you know, your produce with. And we were like, we gotta get some of those. We gotta get some of those and leave them at mom and dad so that when we come or if they, when they're there, obviously they can use them to just have a beautiful basket and just enjoy that experience of going out to the garden. I think that's where this one will wind up. That's, that's where it should be. Another thrifted item that I picked up recently is this beautiful little milk glass, little trinket container. And I used to have a ton of milk glass and I've sort of, you know, parted ways with much of it at this point, but I love these little trinket boxes. This actually is for my marketplace find that I mentioned, that's where this is gonna live. But I love little containers like this honestly to hold like choking hazards that I find around the house that are little bits and bobs of things that belong to the kids and I don't want the baby to get to. I just like having somewhere to tuck those away so that if the kids need it, I know where it is, but it's obviously in a safe spot. Also at the thrift store, I did a little restocking of some board games with summer approaching. It's just a great time to have some more board games in the house, some fresh things to play. We do a game night every Friday night. The first one I found is Big Boggle, which I didn't even know was a thing. We love Boggle, the traditional one, and this just has more letters so that you can make longer words or you just have more opportunity to make more words. And that was $2.99. This is a game I've actually been searching for, so I was thrilled to find it. It's called Othello. This I think was $4.99, yeah. And my daughter loves to play those games that are like the boxes, when you have like the dots and you make boxes and if you, you know, make more boxes, you fill them all in. If you have kids, you probably know what I'm talking about. But this is sort of similar to that where if you flank the pieces on either side, you get to flip over like that whole row of pieces. So my daughter is six and she is fantastic at this game and she beats me at it. So I was really happy to find that. And then the last one is Up Words, which we have Scrabble, Scrabble Junior, and they love to play that. This is a similar concept. So this was $3.99 and I did go through our game closet, our puzzles and games, and I got rid of a ton of those. And so I'm happy to have the space in there now. I can put these in and it's not gonna add more clutter. And then I went to a yard sale. It is just beginning to be yard sale season around here. And I have been to this woman's house before and I know that she has horses and she has a lot of really beautiful antiques that she sells that are like equestrian related and you know, artwork and just other beautiful things. And she always has other lovely antiques as well. So I drove past her house and then I saw the antiques outside. So I turned my car around and came back and I'm really glad I did because I found these two really beautiful decorative plates. She had a ton of them and I just picked two out and this one was great. It already had the hanger on the back, which was exactly how I planned to use it. it has this really beautiful strawberry pattern on it. You can tell I love strawberries. That lampshade also had strawberries. And then this one is some kind of a bird. I can't quite make out what if it's supposed to be a peacock or I don't quite know. I want to say this is that Majolica, I think is maybe how you pronounce it. But my little trick for lightweight plates that you wanna hang on the wall is I just took some super glue and a little paper clip and it makes a little hanger that you can hang it on the wall. Again, if it's a lightweight plate and it doesn't need to hold a ton of weight, I have the Gorilla 
super glue and it works really well. So I actually hung these on the wall in our kitchen and I really love how that looks. My style, I feel like I can't specifically define it. I really love that New England classic American style, but I wouldn't say I'm super preppy because I also love like the English countryside style, like the cottage style of florals and sort of worn textures. I don't really know how to describe it. And then I also love that Ralph Lauren style, which again is very, you know, classic American New England but also has sort of the florals and the texture to it. So it's somewhere a mix of those three, I would say. These two prints that I got at that same yard sale, two framed, square framed art prints, and I'll give you a little close up of them. My built-ins are kind of ever evolving, but I love that they're square, but at the same time, there's the round matting on the inside. So it kind of breaks up all of the very straight lines on the built-ins. And I really like how that kind of ties in with the round sconces as well. Kind of works together to again, break up all those straight lines. All right, and then my final piece is what I found on Facebook Marketplace. I have been wanting to change out the little dresser that we have in sort of our entryway. It kind of acts as an entryway piece, but also a couch side table because our home is small and it's sort of a dual purpose area. And the one I had, I had gotten for free and it just, it worked for the time being, but the handles kept breaking and I wanted something a little bit bigger because obviously kids are getting older, their interests are growing and storage is just always you know, a perk anywhere you can fit it into a small home. The gentleman that sold it to me was so sweet and he told me kind of the backstory of it. He said at one point it was painted black and his dad refinished it to how it is now. When I bought it, it did have these white porcelain knobs on it, which I don't know if they're original. I don't think that they are. They were probably put on maybe sometime when he stripped it and refinished it. But I really want it to have wooden knobs and look really traditional, really, you know, classic how it is on the dresser that we have in our bedroom. So I actually just went to Lowe's. They had two different raw wood options that I've actually used in our home in other rooms as well. And then I just stained them myself, which is incredibly easy. It takes the stain perfectly because they are raw and it just finishes the piece beautifully. I love the tone on tone of it and it just sort of looks very traditional and classic and again fits so perfectly in that space gives us a ton of storage which is awesome i do still need to play around with the wall behind it i haven't quite figured out what i'm going to put up there i have this big print that is actually from our bedroom usually we have it hanging over our bed and i think i will put it back there i don't love it here i think maybe i would like to have a mirror here because it would be nice to have that as you're heading out the door i have done so many different iterations on this wall and i feel like i've never quite found something that really clicked and felt like perfect. Maybe that's an unachievable, you know, thing. Maybe there is no perfect solution, but there's lots of good solutions. I don't know. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for a mirror that could work there. Oh, it was $80, just in case you're curious. That was, I felt, a fair price for a really beautiful antique piece that will, you know, hopefully serve our family very well probably forever. I don't see myself getting rid of it ever. I just think it is perfect. I love the clean lines, but then the really beautiful trim work at the bottom is just so special and I think looks so great with our coffee table as well. The little scallop detail is something that I love pretty much anywhere. So, so thrilled to have found that piece. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing some secondhand finds that I picked up recently. Thank you for sticking with me throughout my short little hiatus there but i am hoping to share more in the future be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy secondhand and thrift shopping definitely is a love of mine something that is a constant evolution in our home things come things go some things stand the test of time and they hang around for a long time and it's just a fun creative process for me to do the shopping and sharing it with you. So thank you for being here. If you're new to my channel, be sure to stick around and subscribe and I'll be talking to you soon. Take care guys.